is because one person just brought it up in chat. I'm gonna give you my sound clip. And if somebody asks me again, I'm probably just gonna say the same thing. You ready? This is this is regarding a handful of streamers quitting PoE. And one notable one, at least, quitting streaming altogether. What do I think about that? Uh, like I've said before on stream, this is a blisteringly hot take, Chad. But if you don't like what you're doing, you can always just stop doing it. If you don't like what you see on TV, you can stop watching it. If you don't like the game you're playing, you can stop it. And hopefully, maybe not, but hopefully, you're in a place in your life where if you don't like what you're doing for money, you can stop that as well. So like there's streamers who have like quit playing PoE and they feel burnt out and they don't like the relationship they have with their streaming career thing and they just don't want to do it anymore. Or maybe just they don't want to play PoE anymore for any number of reasons. Good. Good. I like that. I like people respecting their mental health and uh, taking time to reflect on what they enjoy doing and making sure that they actually still enjoy doing it. I play PoE because I think it's fun. The stress that comes with streaming and feeling like you have to entertain a live audience and feeling like you're beholden to everybody in chat. Uh, I get that. I think, I think Tarky's latest video that he put on YouTube is a good example of that kind of thing. Um, I think, I think one of the mitigating factors that I have above and beyond the support that other streamers might have is making dinner right now. Pearl is a, uh, is a fantastic emotional center for me. And she, uh, she does a hell of a good job of keeping me grounded. Not only for like POE stuff or streaming stuff, but back when I worked in corporate America, back then as well. And I'm happy to have her in my life. Pearl's the real MVP. So, do I have too many thoughts beyond that? Um, well, I... Some of the complaints that I've heard have been... Um, the communication thing from, P from, from GGG. And I agree with that. I, I would like to have more communication. I've heard complaints about... Um, in the past, it felt like GGG under-promised and over-delivered, and now it feels like they over-promise and under-deliver. I understand the sentiment. The things that we get in-game right now are kind of boring, but all, all of the quality of life that's coming along with it, like all the revamps to the previous systems in PoE, is my favorite part of the current league. And if you don't engage with those, either because you don't like them, or because you're in a trade league and they're not economically viable, or because they don't net you perfect gear like Harvest does, if you don't engage with these things, I can understand why they're not something that you feel or appreciate. But I do. So I, I enjoy Path of Exile in a different way than most people do. Because like I like I like talking about min-max builds, and I like helping you min-max your builds. But, like, if you've been here for a while, you've realized, like, I don't really min-max my builds. I just take bad ideas, and I see... Or, <clears throat> maybe good. Maybe I take good ideas. I take good ideas, and I see how little can you have and still make that idea workable. Like the Kinetic Bolt stuff they did, that we did recently, right? We did, like, SSF, Hardcore, League Start, Elementalist... 
you know, non-crit, max block, tanky, Ellie wand character. And it turns out that that character is stupendous. Or was, before it got nerfed. But that was really fun for me to, like, explore that. And, like, now I'm playing a skill... I'm playing Petrified Blood, which I'm pretty sure is bad. But I want to try it, and I want to try it in different ways so that I can speak intelligently about it. Because, like, those kind of mechanisms in PoE are what I like. So I don't I do not do things to make as much money as possible, like in Softcore Trade. And I don't do things to get as much damage as possible. Because, obviously, most things blow up the screen when you have as much damage as possible. And that's not what's interesting to me. I like seeing, like, what can I do with shit gear? <laughs> when my character's garbage. Now what can I do? <laughs> and that's, that's cool. That's cool for me. So, the people who want, want to leave PoE and do something else, you know, have have fun and, and do the things that, that you want to do that are fun. If you don't want to stream PoE, go stream something else. If you don't want to stream at all, I hope that you have something else you can do. Because I don't want anybody living on the streets. I, I don't know, that's it. That's that's my thoughts on it. Should I clip that? Is this music DMCA free? I'm worried. I'm pretty sure it is. Have I missed anything? I just I just enjoy PoE. Um, I'll I'll add one more thought. I'll add one more thought directly as a uh, as a as a response to what So Mad said toward the end of his video, saying that. He knows that people out there are looking for the next big game and they want PoE to fail and they want something where it's going to be like new mechanics and new stuff and like the next, like world's first stuff. And you know, like I don't, I don't want PoE to fail. I think PoE is a sweet game. But like new stuff, I love new stuff. World's first, I love a world's first. One, one of the things that I feel like I missed out on as a kid is I never played World of Warcraft. And I never got, like, you know, 20 people in a Skype or whatever the fuck VoIP program you used to use 20 years ago. Like, 20 people in, like, a like a call TeamSpeak server or something. And uh, waking up at, like, you know, 1 o'clock in the morning because somebody else lives on the other side of the world. And going and raiding a dungeon and, like, trying to be world's first. I feel like I totally missed out on that. That sounds awesome. Ventrilo, yeah, great. <laughs> um, if there's like a world's first thing, it sounds awesome. Who doesn't want fun stuff like that? One of the fun things about PoE that appeals to me is like when there's not a perfect POB on day one of the new league, and when there's not, you know, perfectly mined information, and people don't know what the new recipe is, right? Or like what what the new vendor recipes are, or like when when people don't have exact information, and people are on Reddit, on Discord, on Twitch, on Twitter, sharing information back and forth, trying to figure out how to break this game in half as soon as possible. That is exciting. It is. Why well, you play games like this? Do I want P P we to fail? I mean, personally, no. I kind of like it. It's a good game. Um. When you when you have a goal in PoE, we talk about goals a lot on stream. When you have a goal or something that you're working on, I think PoE is like one of the best games in the world. I think it's just like outstanding. Um, when you don't have a goal that you're working on in PoE and you're just kind of like waffling around, PoE is just another game. It's fine. But like it doesn't really have anything on some other game. And, like, I still haven't beaten Hades ever since it came out of Early Access. And, like, that game's amazing, right? There's so many good games out there. But, like, when you have a goal, when you have something that you're working on, like I extremely often do, I just think PeeWee's fucking awesome. So, I'm, I, I play the game because I'm happy. I play the game because I like it. I stream because I like streaming. 
And you know what? I'm in a good position in my life where I don't need to, you know, worry about getting kicked out on the street if I don't get 30 subs by the end of the month. So, God bless. Pro's the real champ. I might play Hades. And that's, that's about it.